Okay. All right, so here's another episode of How I Spent the Apocalypse. Um, in the last one, we planted this bamboo. It's been about 10 minutes since then. <laughs> Actually, closer to 20 because I actually got it planted. And uh, of course, you want to fill the hole with water and all that, and put the dirt in, blah blah blah. But now I have to put a fence across here. I have to put a fence across here because otherwise the dogs are going to wallow that and kill that bamboo. Now, as a point from before, if let will show you the yard. My neighbor is now mowing. And it's obvious that everything has been mowed. So there you go. You'll have that. I'm, it, I feel good that I can give him a little entertainment. Hey, watch the big ass dike next door. Do shit. Um, at any rate, so I have to put a little fence. Now, this fence does not have to be fancy. This fence can look like crap because you know where we are on our property? We are in our junkyard. Then will you pan around and show the junkyard? Any homestead worth its salt has to have a junkyard. You have to have some place where you go to get all the pieces that you make the magic with and some place to go to get all the stuff that you fix shit that's broken. So every one of piece of this crap looks like something I can build with to me. Now, unlike some people that whore and do it wrong, if I don't use it for a while, I sell it or I, well, I guess I sell it anyway. I trade it for scrap metal. I sell it for scrap metal or I sell it or I give it away to people or some, lots of times when you have homestead or friends, you go to each other's junkyards and look for shit. Okay, so I need a piece of wire. It doesn't have to be pretty. Let's see what I've got in my junkie plunger. This one might work if I can unfold it. This was a piece of wire that I tore off an old fence that had been grown up. And so I folded it up to take to the junkyard. But it's the apocalypse. So right now, this piece of wire looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to try it unfolding. I make no guarantees. Because sometimes when I do shit, it stays done. And I'm the one who folded this up. What? I get it all unfolded, I'll be the wrong size. It's kind of tall. I don't know that I need it that tall. Oh, it won't hurt. It'll keep. It'll keep Goldie out, maybe. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you know what? In fact, I do not want it this tall. So let me show you a trick. You know what else I don't want to do? I don't want to have to cut it. So I don't want it this tall. And the top, the bottom of it where it hit the ground before is kind of rusted. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take it and start bending it over. And watch this tool. This is a cool tool. It's called a foot. <laughs> we use it to walk it down a lot quicker than pliers. If I did this with pliers, it would take me 30 minutes to get all of those down. But if I use and I'm good. All right. I think that's going to be just about the right size, too. And if not, we'll make it so. All right. So now I get to put an unrotted piece at the bottom, which is good. And I just take it over here. Oh, it's not quite big enough. Oh, what shall I do? I'll have to get another piece of garbage wire. But before I do that, I'm going to at least wire this up and see how much I actually need. Because who knows, I may be able to fudge it and make it work anyway. Okay, so, I don't know if you remember our old friend, bailing wire. 
Now, like I said, I just have an old fence I'm tying this to, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It just needs to keep the dogs from tearing up the bamboo. It's as easy as slipping that through there, tying it down. You just twist the damn wire. It's easy. It ain't rocket science. Lynn, are you taking pictures of my ass again? Only when you show it to me. Oh, damn it. What was that? It must have been our neighbor. Oh, damn, chicken was crowing. I didn't know chickens crowed. Yeah. Well, well fucking chicken and rooster. What the fuck ever, woman? <laughs> That's what you get for taking pictures of my ass. All right, so the same thing. I'm just, I'm not even going to add a piece of wire because I can do that. I love green briars. <laughs> oh, they're so much fun. Okay. So, here's a little trick. I could go get a plant cutter, or you can just use your wire cutters and cut those damn green briars out of your face. See? It works better, actually, than most of your... Chickens will like that. Edge wire. Oh, uh, they'll eat the leaves, but they won't eat the vines. Nope, but they'll eat those leaves. Yeah. They're not going to right now because they're in the pasture. This is true. But I'll put them over the fence for them anyway. I got the chickens running the pasture. It keeps the bugs down, and it gives them lots of greens to eat. So, get lots of nice eggs. All right. So, basically, I'm just going to tie that up. That's not worth watching. What I want to do is show you a little bit of my junkyard and tell you what things will be. This old wheel here, eventually, I got plans for this. Eventually, I'm going to make it into a wheelbarrow planter. Oh. Just a fancy schmancy little planter. I'll get rid of the tank. God only knows what I'll do with that. God, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But that's good iron. See, I could do all kinds of shit with that old weight bench. In fact, I have two of them, by the way. Old barrel, no bottom in it. Found it after the flood down by the park. I think I'm going to use that as the base for my blacksmith forge. I'm not sure. Toilet bowls, eventually I'll show you. I use them for planters all the time. Talk about great container gardens. And if you do them right, you don't even know they're toilets. The tanks, the toilets themselves, they work fantastic for container gardening. They even drain well. This tank eventually will be another aquaculture tank. Over there is the giant, big, heavy tank off an old boiler system which eventually I will cut down, weld, and make into the ultimate smoker <laughs> and, barbecue, and barbecue pit. This is something I made for the kids a long time ago and the dogs. The bottom part's a dog house, which is again heated by the bottles. And then you see that this was a ladder off an old kid's play set that um, was thrown away and I just, these were just trashed blocks that I stacked up. And then I put a slide on the other side. So, and the dog's house is up in there, actually. This tank, I will eventually gutter this roof off of into, and then the overflow from that will run into what will eventually be another aquaculture tank. And this ginormous pile of crap all has uses and what I don't use I will sell I mean I have old mower blades you can make knives and shit out of that I have an old freaking jack off of a trailer somebody threw all this stuff somebody threw I know such beautiful shit who could believe somebody would throw away such treasure but see people either said Selena I have this shit come and pick it up for me or I found it in dumpsters, or it was in stacks of stuff by the side of the road said, that said free. And some of this glass eventually will be part of a, uh, part of a, uh, a greenhouse I want to build. And the tin will be to use, used on outbuildings and stuff and to fix things and patch things. A lot of this stuff, I just grab it like I just did and use it to make something useful. So... Everybody needs a junkyard. Goodbye for now.